Greetings and welcome to another video. I know it's been a little while since I did a video. As you can see, I have Beowulf with me, which is the whore. So then here, a new addition. His name is Fang. It's a Teagle pet. What's going to happen in this video is sort of like a make it up to you video. And I'm going to make it up to you with a date note card. Because as much as it amazes me, y'all really like the date note cards. We're going to go ahead and get on with it. Oh, Fang is so cute. He's like, what is that? Is that the camera? Am I in it? Beowulf is like, uh, dog. I should have invited Wilson over here and it could be like a straight up party. All right. So let's go ahead and get to this date note card. Don't know how long this video is going to be because, well, we never know how long the date note cards are going to be. It's a journey of finding out what is in them. Male, age, an adult. Not a number, just a word. An adult. Now, legally, you're, well, depending on which state or country, you're an adult when you're 18 or 21. Now, in the UK, because I know this because I'm British, I am. I really am. That's right. I don't sound like it, but I am. Now, in the UK, you're considered an adult when you're 16. So make sure you put a number. Don't just put this. Location and time zone, South Carolina, sexual orientation, straight. What are you hoping to find? It's a mystery. I'll be the judge of that once I meet that special someone. It's a simple question, but it's a mystery. I don't think so. I mean, usually when you go to a dating agency, there's a reason why you go. And the biggest reason, the most standard of all reasons why anyone tries a dating agency is to, you know, throw themselves onto the pit of fire that will eventually burn your soul to the point to where there's nothing left but dust. And obviously, that's a much better option than trying it out there in the Oh, wild world in Second Life. That's it, really. There's the hope is to survive. If you meet along, if you meet someone along the way, that's great. But if you survive the whole ordeal of a dating agency, you done well. You have done well. But this, I'll be the judge of that once I meet the what? What is this? What is this? I'll be the judge of that once I meet that special someone. Okay, so he will be the judge of knowing what he was hoping to find at the dating agency once he meets that special someone. No, this is a red flag. Because if he is not, if he can't be open enough with himself to even say the generic things, as an answer to this question, what are you hoping to find? I mean, a lot of people put like love or a wife or a husband or a booty call or friends with benefits or, you know, whatever, right? Whatever. But he, no. Because now, if he does meet, quote unquote, someone special, oh yeah, there'll be special someone getting off the short bus, I'm sure. But, uh, then he can say, he can connect this note card and what he said in it, and he could use it as a tool to manipulate whomever he meets. You're the special someone that I was hoping to find here. This opens a lot of doors for manipulation. Red flag. Open to RL or just SL relationship? SL only for now. I do have Instagram, SL Facebook, and Discord. What, what, what? Well, okay. 
So he only wants an SO relationship. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people want to start out that way, or a lot of people prefer that for whatever reason, good and or bad or whatever. But to go on to say that he has an Instagram, an SL Facebook, and a Discord, to him, perhaps that means that there is a possibility of extending the relationship beyond SL, which is totally not the point. Here's the thing. If you could have an SL relationship in SL, right, then of course it's going to be the same type of relationship through any other type of social media platform like Instagram, Facebook, Discord, I don't, what is it called now? Twitter X, X Twitter. I have no idea. All these other places where you connect online. The thing is, is that there's a big difference between an SL relationship and an RL relationship. These things, Discord, SL, Facebook, Instagram, and all the other stuff, that's a way to communicate, right? But it does not replace the RL or the physical world factor. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, like what I consider a physical world factor is like, I'm getting a telephone call on my phone phone, either my landline phone or my mobile phone. I'm getting a text on my mobile phone. I'm getting a letter, a snail mail letter in the mail. I'm getting something from somewhere delivered to me. Those are physical world actions, right? At that point, it, yeah, it's totally gone to, to the physical world. But these other things are just a way to communicate. It doesn't like lay or give the status of a relationship. Oh yeah, we got a SO relationship, but we talk on Discord or we, we, we do each other's Facebooks. What the hell does that mean? That ain't no different than talking on voice in SL and being in somebody's profile in SL. Hello? I'm stupid. Ooh, what a very stupid answer. Do you like to talk on voice? Of course. Well, you must do if you got a Discord. What are a few things that you love? Interaction and helping people. I want to be able to help others with situations that they go through. I'm a good listener. I love being able to share laughter and love with my lady. Oh, so you're looking for a lady. Okay, so the special someone is a lady. Okay, so that backs up that you're straight. Okay. Interaction and helping people. Well, let's see. In any type of relationship involving another human, it does mean you have to interact with them by saying, by putting that in the, what, what are a few things that you love and interaction being one of them, then one can assume that they might be a people person and helping people. Okay, you have some type of people that love to help people, and then you have other people that are just like, no, nothing wrong with that. I'm that way sometimes. They want to be able to help others with situations that they go through. Well, what kind of situations? What kind? We all go through situations. It doesn't mean that it's bad or good. It's just a situation that we go through. Like the word situation itself does not indicate good nor bad. It is just a reference of a period of time that stands out more than another period of time. Thus, that's why it's a situation. It just depends on how you use the word in. I'm a good listener. Well, I don't know about that because you couldn't answer these simple questions like open to RL or just SL relationship. I mean, you answered it SL for now, but you didn't really go into detail. And you couldn't answer what are you hoping to find and it's a mystery, so I don't think you're that good of a listener if you can't even answer a simple questions. So that's a red flag. I love being able to share laughter and love with my lady. Okay, everybody likes to laugh. 
You might have different sense of humor, but everybody likes a laugh. And love with his lady, what kind of love? Is that part of the mystery? What kind of love? There's all different types of love. What are your hobbies while at SL? Mainly businesses. I use Allie, AFK, taking care of business and RL or sim building and landscaping here and Second Life. Spending time with someone special is, oh my, oh, oh my, oh my word. Oh, oh, oh my word. Oh my goodness. Oh, for the love of monkey balls on the wall. Oh my, oh wow. That, horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I can't believe that. Spending time, someone special is also a hobby. This is so bad that it, that it's not even affecting me that he spelled the word hobby wrong. Not even affected me. Spending time with someone special is also a hobby. A hobby. A hobby. Spending time with someone that that you're into or that you dig or that you get along with or or that you have fun with or you share things with or whatever. If it's like is a hobby. No. People, people are not hobbies, right? A hobby is a solitaire event. It is something that you do on your own. It is an action that you do, like collecting stamps, uh, collecting Coke cans from the 1980s, Collected used underwear, collected whatever, whatever, and all that stuff is true. I don't do it, but other people do it. But I'm just saying, people are not hobbies. And to say spending time with someone special is also a hobby, that is not a compliment. That is not anything good. There is nothing positive about that whatsoever. If someone ever tells you that, you get the hell up out of there. Because that is a very devaluing statement. It is something that no one should say to someone else or even think that. Yeah, I can't even make that. I can't even make that horrible sentence better. He should have just not have said it. He should have not have said it. What are your hobbies while in SL? Spending time with someone special is also a hobby. That? Mm -mm -mm. No. No. That is horrible. Now. <clears throat> What are your hobbies while in SL? I usually AFK take a care of business in RL or a sim building landscaping here in Second Life. Okay, so his hobby really, it could be taken that he usually AFKs. That's a hobby of his, right? I wish I, wish I had a red pen. I need to get something to where I could, surely there is a thing in SL, a HUD or something to where it'll change my cursor into like a red pen or a red marker and I can X this shit out. I'm moving on. What is your usual day in SL like? Interaction, talking with everyone, exploring, standing around, finding to find ways to make money. Finding to find ways to make money. Ugh. But how can you talk with everyone if you're AFK, usually? How can you go explore it if you're AFK, usually? Find ways to make money. This here, this here, look. Ladies, whenever a man does anything like that, sure, you might think, 
oh, well, you know, he's really into his businesses and, you know, he has every right to want to make profit and, and to want to find other ways to make money. Yeah, sure, you could think that. But this right here means that you will not be his priority. What will be his priority is finding to find ways to make money. Right? Red flag. Right there. Right there. Do you RP? If so, what kind? Yes! Family RP. Oh, boy. Do you have family in SL? If no, do you want one? How important is this for you when looking for a potential partner? Yes, I have family and I want a partner to complete that with me. Why could you, why could you not have just put this, this up here as your answer to what are you hoping to find? That would have worked. That would have worked. Is having sex in a cell with your partner important to you? It depends. It can be if we make it. What? It, what? What? It can be if we make it. It depends. What does it depend? I mean, if you're going to have sex in a cell with your partner, it, it should be important to you, number one. It should be important to the other person. It should be important to both of the people, right? On whatever level, degree, or what have you. Even if it's just like, you know, checking out animations on furniture just for shits and giggles. I mean, shit, look, if it's important to both, then well, yeah. Uh, but it depends. It depends on what? What does it depend on? It's either important or it's not. It can be if we make it. What? So what, are you going to force the female to be like, to think that sex is important when it, it, you know what? This is not the time to ask for strength from the good Lord. No, it is not. This is the time for me just to move on. No, no. Mm -mm. Are you into BDSM? If so, are you a dom, dom, domain, sub, or switch? Either one would work. I almost said the F word, y'all. <laughs> oh, wow. Either one would work. I, I, I just, mm -mm. no, I, I, mm, no, I, no, this is a red flag. It, it, the, Oh man! Oh, I'm I'm just moving on. I'm just moving on. How important is this for you when looking for a potential partner? I don't know, honestly. Whatever. Oh no! 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 Please use the space to write in anything else you would like to add. I want someone who can understand me on what I go through and no hurt me and can feel my pain. It's always good to talk to someone. I like to have a family on Second Life. Okay. This right here. Wow. Now, I'm going to make this bigger because I want to point something out. Do you see how it started? Like, you know trying to be like coy and kind of playful and, you know, uh, smart alecky with his answers. Obviously, he's proud of his Instagram and his SL Facebook and Discord, you know, because he used uh, two exclamation points. So there's, you know, a, a hyper tone there within those words, right? And he's very excited about being able to answer the question, do you like to talk on voice? Of course, right? So, you know, you're getting that kind of an idea of being animated, like, oh, yeah, you know, excited. And then, you know, he goes interaction and helping people, you know, try to convey this whole um, outward appearance of, you know, uh, engagement and uh, wanting to help people with other situations and that he's a good listener and 
uh, wants to enjoy sharing laughter and love. And then here are the hobbies. You can see the change, mainly business, uh, usually AFK, taking care of business. Right? Stay with me here. Stay with me. I'm going to make a point soon. And then what is your usual day in SL like? Interaction, talking with everyone, right? Finding ways, find, find to, well, finding ways to make money. We're going to keep going. And then about the, uh, uh, he does family RP. He wants a family with his own. He wants a partner to complete that with him. So he wants a family and he wants a partner to complete a family with him. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it through these words. When we get down here to the bottom, I want someone who can understand me on what I go through and not hurt me and can feel my pain. So we went from Mr. It's a mystery. I'll be the judge of that once I meet that special someone wide grin em emoticon um i do have instagram sl facebook and discord of course and i love being able to share laughter and love with my lady and then it just kind of it kind of just goes to shit from there it goes from well i'll just be simple with it it goes from excitable to the bottom of the barrel of not excitable. I want someone who can understand me on what I go through and not hurt me and can feel my pain. So what he's done here is that he's tried to reel in the reader with, you know, using the word like it's a mystery. I'll be the judge of that once I meet that special someone. He's It's not very commitment field here. Can't even answer that simple question. Um, with the SL relationship, uh, you know, he answers the question. I'm not really sure why. Well, I do know why he put the Instagram, SL, Facebook, and Discord. <clears throat> so after reading this part about, well, someone who can understand him and what he goes through and feel his pain and everything. And if you reread this stuff, then it's like, oh, yeah, I do have Discord, SL Face. I do have Instagram, SL Facebook, and Discord, meaning that there's a lot of ways where you could probably feel his pain. He will want you to, you know, look at his Instagram and his Facebook and his Discord, because I bet you all of his pain is probably on his Instagram and Facebook, and he wants you to read it. Because he wants someone who can understand him on what he goes through. Um, and the way he answered, do you like to talk on voice? Of course. I bet he talks about it. I, I bet he talks a lot about it. But with him saying that he's a good listener, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt that he is. I highly, highly, highly doubt that he is because he wants someone who can understand him on what he goes through and not hurt him. And can feel his pain. It's always good to talk to someone. Now he's not saying that in general. He's saying that it's always good for him to talk to someone. I know. It doesn't look like it's personalized statement. But it is. And he's saying it's always good to talk to someone. Because. That's his history. You know. And. He wants someone who can understand him on what he goes through and not hurt me. So he's like, did all the fluff and buff, you know, the kind of positive stuff, the kind of dude should even have wrote that kind of stuff at the, you know, in the beginning. But at the end, that's when you get the real mamma jamma of, no, no. I would highly think that he is a drainer. You know how you get some people that are like, oh, my life. It's so bad. And they tell you all about it. And you can't even like, they don't even give you like the room to say anything to try to comfort them or, you know, give them some support. And no matter what you come up with, 
like any advice or solutions to a problem. They've either already done that, uh, it didn't work, or they don't have the means or the know-how or the way to do it, or whatever. Any excuse, any excuse to down your helpfulness to them because they enjoy being miserable. And I think maybe this person enjoys being miserable. Because to say, I want someone who can understand me on what I go through and not hurt me and can feel my pain. That is something that you do not say in a date note card. That is something that you do not put in a profile. That is something you tell your therapist, a professional medical person, your parents, <clears throat> or a really, really good friend. But you do not go around advertising this because it's weak. It highly shows that you're selfish. And it is for a guy to do the whole pity me, pity me. It's kind of disgusting. This is something that is to be said in private with someone you trust, not just to publicly announce how, how desperate you are for company to share in your misery, because this is what that is. Now, normally at this point, of the note card reading, I will go back and I will pick out one thing that really stood out to me, either a positive or negative. And uh, well, this right here, spending time with someone special is also a hobby. That worst thing you can say to somebody, don't say it. If you are thinking it, you, you, yeah, you, you need professional help because people are not hobbies. You can share hobbies with other people. You can have hobbies in common with other people. But people is not a hobby. Spending time with someone that means something to you is not a hobby. Watching TV, that's a hobby. Getting home from work, sitting on the toilet and putting together a jigsaw puzzle on a on a tv tray that's in front of you while you're shitting now that's a hobby a problem but it could be a hobby if you, you know, i mean whatever look i know i'm being extreme but the point is is that people are not hobbies relationships are not hobbies how you spend time with someone that in itself is not a hobby what an asshole man he this this, this dude uh, no well, I've said enough, but I've said the important things. I hope you learned something, and I will see you all in the next video. You gonna say bye, Fang? You gonna say bye? You gonna say bye? Oh, oh you being camera shy. Alrighty. Bye.